Welcome back to the channel and to the new Park Who Dis contest. Each and every submission gets its own spotlight and today we are looking at Pirate Bay by Poetry Slam 78. Today I'm joined by Nerd Chacho. Nerd Chacho is one of the biggest Planet Coaster content creators on YouTube slash my arch nemesis with his regular park build series and tips and tricks videos. Hello Nerd Chacho. Yeah, hello Moomin Little Socks. <laughs> hello there, how are you? <laughs> I'm all right mate. Hay fever's kicked in. It's uh, it's summer. <laughs> I was just saying to you, uh, you you're sounding very husky today. It's, it's a new but version of you. <laughs> shoes. But, oh, imagine if people prefer this version of me. So nice and brief description from Poet today. She says, I let chat choose everything and I ended up with a pirate theme I just built when I could. Um, and just to follow that up, um, to give context, Poet uh, is working an incredibly full-time job at the same time as trying to balance that with building this contest park and streaming. So I know that she had very little time to do this. So I'm already impressed with what she's uh, come up with. Okay, starting with piece count. Is it typical Poet numbers? No, it's not. Wow, 18,023. I'm very impressed. <laughs> Poet is well known for her piece count, um, but she's done very well here. This is Park Variation Quebec, which means we've got the River Rapids, the Go-Karts, the Hellion Ring, and the Insanity giving us the Pirate theme. We of course have at least one coaster, the Dark Ride is still in the original show building, and the good old swan is still down here, now in the form of the fuzzy clam. Wouldn't be pirate without pissing penguins and fuzzy clams. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but without further ado, let's hop down onto the ground. And here we are, down on the ground in front of the Pirate Bay entrance. Lovely and simplistic uh, pirate castle facade here. The pirate stuff looks so good, doesn't it? The sandstone stuff is just... <laughs> it does. It just fits. It's just its a shame it's so clunky. It's so big, yeah. but it just fits. I love it. We need to find Pirate's security guard. Do you remember from the original tour when she was eyeing up the security guard? <laughs> yes. Where is he? That's true. Where is he now? He should still be wandering around here, actually. He's probably in the same place. There he is. He's, wait he's waiting for her. There he is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say hey. Hey. <laughs> But here we are in the entrance plaza and some wonderful sight lines here already. It looks so open as well. Is this is this it one does. of the first ones we've seen where it hasn't used the original hole, right? Yeah, she she did use it at some point. She had a kraken <laughs> crawling out of it at one point. But I think <laughs> something like she lost the save or something. So I think at the end she just covered it up, which is fine. Uh, but um, it does it gives this plaza a whole different uh, aesthetic without yeah, the hole. Yeah, it really does. And I'm really enjoying this path cover. I want to know what mm -hmm. this path cover is. That is the mossy floor mossy tile. Mossy floor tile. I'm getting straight on the workshop <laughs> to steal that. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> okay, where do you want to head first? Oh my god. Um, let's go. Let's go to the Vacoma because we know that Poet loves to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she, Poet loves her coasters, doesn't she? She loves her coasters. <laughs> yeah. Poet, get ready. We're about to rip this apart. <laughs> So I'm adoring this already that she's kind of, um, to this facade of planks on the side here um, was the cladding to my uh, stairs. She's oh, obviously taken that and remade it into this uh, pirate facade, which looks beautiful. I love it when people do that, though, when they take mm. your original stuff and they pay homage to it by including it. Like the other parks that we were looking at did the same. So like, yep. it's, it's awesome that she's done that. This is nice. That's nice. I love a good yeah. overhang. Do you reckon that's supposed to be like a playground? <laughs> Probably, knowing Poet, Or yeah. is it? <laughs> I love Poet stuff. She's so intricate with stuff that she does. She is, yeah. Like, and... I wish I just had even a remote element of her imagination. Like, the, watching her build <laughs> the flat ride that she did for your, one of your um, TMTK free parts was just yes. awe-inspiring. I was like, that's incredible. Really How yeah. have you done all of this? That was easily one of my favourite rides. Um, just as you said she, her ability just to she just builds and builds and builds for hours on end and just you can see her dedication to the build just stays at that same level and her excitement engagement in it and it's uh it is inspiring yeah exactly yeah but here we are at our first coaster it's a true vacoma that's what it is it's gonna be rough <laughs> it's gonna be ready <laughs> great <laughs> well i'm excited for this uh let's hop on
Well, all I can say is, where was the Vekoma jank? Because that was lovely and smooth. <laughs> it was. like <laughs> It's a private joke between the three of us, right, that Pyro mm. doesn't do coasters. Yes. But I've seen experienced players do worse than that. And I'm Absolutely. loving the loop over the bridge. Like yeah. That's just such a subtle, subtle task. It's such a nod to every other coaster that's ever put a, a path through a loop. But I love it. Mm -hmm. It's so good. She hates building coasters and the, claims that she's not very good at it. But that was a fantastic little coaster. So, yeah. It's going to come to something when people are going to complain that it's not rough enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a so that was the Golden Hind in true poet fashion. Heine. Hind, hinds are always involved. <laughs> okay, moving on. We've got a wonderful pirate ship here. Bang in is the middle it, of the plaza. Is anybody on it? Doesn't look like it. No, standard. No. Standard pirate ship. <laughs> yeah. It'd be weird if there was someone on it. Um, I really love this here. So this fence um, was taken from my Iron Claw and she's reused it over here, which is a really nice idea to keep that cohesion going because I'm assuming she's left it also over there for the Hellion Ring. It's a little peak. Yes, so that's still over there as well. So it keeps that cohesion across the park. So that works that, really nicely. That fence is just so perfectly pirate as well, isn't it, right? It's it just, is, it yeah. just looks piratey. Give it a bit yeah. of colour and off you go. Well, this is very adorable. Oh, that's like cute. Key ball, ring toss and ball toss. I admire anyone who goes to the effort of doing these non-functioning uh, additions to a park. So much time and effort yeah. for something that's not utilised. So. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it just <laughs> it adds that level of realism to a park, doesn't it? Because... Mm -hmm. We all forget to do them, but then we all wonder yeah. why our parks don't feel realistic when we don't include them. And it's yeah. like, it's the obvious thing. It's the thing that you include and suddenly go, of course that was the thing that was missing. Like, yeah. they're such great uh, space fillers as well. Yeah. yeah. If you've got a small space, you can fit anything mm. in it. That's what she said. So here we have the former Big Bite food court, and this looks absolutely beautiful. And just going back to what you were saying about her ride for um, Little Treasure Cove, she did this similar thing with the facade, the, yeah. like the sh shop fronts or building fronts. Uh, she does it so well. Oh, it's so beautiful. And it's the stuff that she does is so simple and effective. Like, mm -hmm. that's what I love about Pirate is her ability to be able to just pull something out of her imagination and just make it a thing, but making it really, really simple. Like that mm -hmm. sign that, that's on the left-hand side, that is just yeah. stuff that most of us would mm -hmm. never think of doing. But Pirate just plays with this stuff and just goes that looks cool let's see if i can push the boundary some more i love Absolutely. it but yeah oh. the way that she's sunk them in to create these uh lines going through it just gives it a whole different aesthetic doesn't it yeah but then it also fits the theme that she's trying to achieve it fits like mm -hmm. oh, it, it feels like it's the whole what's the word i'm looking for aged lettering yeah like shabby chic Exactly, that's it. Shabby <laughs> chic. And I have to just highlight stuff like this that Poet does. Like that's all custom rope, and um, again using these flowers as the barnacles, like she did before. That's just it's just those tiny little details. And speaking yeah. of details, we all know this from the update videos. <laughs> this is the main highlight. Poet creating uh, this <laughs> this <laughs> drunken man. I won't I won't repeat what she called him, but um, it's not easy to get the animatronics to do natural things exactly and, yeah and hide their their base so this is just stunning and she's used an asset here just for the coins itself those that's a whole pirate piece yeah oh my god pirate, <laughs> she just sunk too it down much. to use the coins stop it i know it's too much yeah. just stop <laughs> she's all about the details and that's what i i i love her for so it's That's just beautiful. her eye, isn't it? She just has yeah. this eye for detail. Well, I'm pretty certain in saying Poet is an ex-interior designer, so... And I did not know that about Poet. This is... I've learned something new, which makes everything... Like, mm -hmm. just makes everything make sense. <laughs> like, yes. this whole attention for detail for design just makes perfect sense when you know that that's what she yeah. used to do for a living. <laughs> exactly. Well, this is looking very immersive. Yes, we've got a queue line here, but then it just opens up into this plaza. That's really interesting and uh just different you don't see people do that very often yeah that's quite clever like we've got no barriers no nothing it's just as if people no. are just wandering around the plaza before going on the ride <laughs> yeah so what is the ride i believe it's our river rapids oh rapids very excited for get out of my way <laughs> move please <laughs> just 
so consistent with the, the pirate clutter throughout. Isn't it? Yeah. And it's not I mean, repetitive. We're not seeing the same no. thing spammed around. That's the... I was just going to say, like, here, using this piece of TMTK, you've got the mulch buried into that. I think those are beams on the top as well. Oh, yeah, you can see the beams, um, yeah. <laughs> which then leads up to it just being a, a planter for these palms. It's just, that's the, the kind of thing I love. But here we are for our River Rapids. So, without further ado, let's jump on. I mean, what do you say about that? It makes sense that it's gone up into the hills, right? Uh, yeah. Let's just let's just ignore the fact that that drop's going to kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But I love I love a good uh, like uh, overground rapids. It, it's mm -hmm. they're starting to become a thing. They're starting to become this thing. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Storm Surge at Thorpe Park. It's, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's a it's a good it's a good rapids. Yeah, it's uh, it made me think of like say you've been on a couple of intense coasters, some crazy flat rides and you just want to bit chill out for a bit this would be the perfect thing just get like this lovely saunter through the uh the nature along here for that nice amount of time before you get this <laughs> violent the drop at the end drop. <laughs> yeah. ready to wake you up again but yeah a, a lovely relaxing exploration rapids ride it's a small space to work with as well, right? So it's going to be yes. difficult to put the Planet Coaster Rapids into that small of space. I don't think you could have done much else with mm -hmm. this. And a small detail, I love how it comes alongside the queue here, or the exit path. That's uh, such a great interaction. Yeah, I just love to yeah. see in Planet Coaster. And with all the scaffolding stuff as well, again, it's that tension mm -hmm. to detail. Yeah. 
just notice these skeletons hanging off there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mad. I mean, it, it wouldn't be a poet park without something a bit morbid. He's literally hung by his pelvis there. Oh, he's having a good time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> look at these. Oh my god, look at this guy. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure this was the pirate theme and not the horror theme? Look at that sight line. That's just there's just so much going on. Love so this lovely. these ruins here in the middle as well. Beautiful. And it's the same colour palette that we're using mm. as well. So that's it's got consistency across everything. It's like it's it's different enough by design, but consistent by design. <laughs> yes. It's yeah. this it's this balance that Poe can just do. I oh, she can. love it. Yeah. So if we head under here. Opens up into another beautiful area. <laughs> another lovely plaza. Reusing her custom planter here. The stucco stuff is so underrated. It's yeah. so versatile. You can use it as stucco, as plaster, as mm -hmm. paint, as render, whatever. Like, honestly, yeah. it's. I love the stucco stuff. More over here as well. What is this, though? This is just beautiful. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Oh, it's it's toilets. toilets. <laughs> 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 but look at the amount of detail that's gone into something that's just toilets. Talking to the wrong person about that. <laughs> well, yes, sorry. <laughs> You're right. Like, toilets are just... Toilets are the forgotten things of Planet Coaster. Toilets and hotels mm -hmm. are the forgotten yeah. things of Planet Coaster. And when when they're done right, they're done like this. It's very Spanish, isn't it? It is, yes. It's giving me lots of Mediterranean vibes. Yeah. Hello there. Uh, all right. That's, that's actual <laughs> poet. Yeah. There she is. Hello. Exactly what she looks like. That's exactly what she looks like. <laughs> Eye patch and all. <laughs> <laughs> this might be my favourite area of the park so far. It's just so I, tranquil. Yeah, I agree. Yes. And it's hidden, right? Mm. So it's like, it's at the back of everything. So you're looking at the backstage stuff on that is now behind us. Mm -hmm. So it's like this hidden area that you sort yep. of stumble across and find. I love that sort of stuff. Going on an adventure in a theme park to places that you really oh. shouldn't go. <laughs> yes, definitely. Coming around here, we've got our dark ride called Journey to the Jade Egg, sponsored by Goop. Goop. Oh, Goop. I don't know if I don't know if we need to go in here, Moon. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to find in here? Oh, I, I dread to think. And here we are in the station, loving the look of this already. I love that you that everyone's using your original uh, your original yeah. ride, and it's and it's mostly reskinned. Yeah, as soon as I see that people have used the original layout, I'm already more inclined to appreciate the work that went into it because it's exactly what the park would do in reality. They would exactly. take the ride that's already there and just reskin it. Yeah, exactly. If they do make any changes, they're real subtle changes. They don't go mm. all out and go, well, unless, of course, they're going to do something completely different with the building, <laughs> then they strip it out completely. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, here we go. It's time for our dark ride.
So there we go. And now, despite the fact that obviously it was silent, there was no music attached to the ride, it kind of <laughs> reminded me of all those countless times that we all know about where real life dark rides have technical issues and their sound goes down and then but they still run the ride anyway <laughs> and it kind of <laughs> made me think of that the sound goes down the lights go on and exactly you um, see all you peek behind the curtain so it was kind of um almost an easter egg to <laughs> how real life rides uh, have these issues <laughs> um which i kind of appreciated but yeah maybe just um shoving any old pirate track on there uh, which I could have done myself, but I don't want to edit anything that people have submitted. So, But yeah, aside from that, the, the theming throughout this was just stunning. I don't know if there was supposed to be any lighting in here, because this is really beautifully decorated down here. So yeah, I'm not sure if there was supposed to be some lighting there, but there it is anyway. I'm loving the fireflies in here. Mm, that was a beautiful section. Such a good touch, yeah. Yeah, this, this scene is lovely. It gives you that... Um, the payoff of you get to the end of the ride, you find the jade egg. It, it wraps everything up nicely. I love it. Yeah. Uh, it's just that intricacy. It's the, all of the intricacies of all the facade stuff that Poet is really good at, right? So yeah. people attempted to build full-on buildings, full-on stuff. But mm -hmm. Poe just knows how to make a flat surface look good, like this bit yeah. here. So that was Journey to the Jade Egg. Here is our Hellion Ring. Just Maintaining the fence from before, but giving it that same recolouring to match the ride. Sometimes it's all you need to do. And of course, it wouldn't be a poet park without a playground. The playgrounds that she's just so good at. Got seesaws, this slide here. Coming out of the ship wheel. Love it. I love it. I, mean, I just use the same one from the workshop all the time and just spam <laughs> it around. But poet makes them yeah. from scratch every single time. And every yeah. single one of them is perfect. Look at these little ropes here. Pull yourself up on those. All right, stop it. Just stop it. You're oh, showing us all up. <laughs> and behind us, we have a refurbishment job going on. And now I did ask Poet if she would still like us to ride this coaster. And she gave a, a very Poet response and just said, it's up to you. So what do you think, Chacho? Do we ride this Woody? You know I'm always up for riding a Woody. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, we'll do this, but bear in mind, this is part of the closed section of the park. Here is a wooden Nala.
Well, you know what? Yet again, that was actually a really good coaster. I mean, besides obviously the obvious terrain flipping and maybe coming a bit hot for this turn here, like again, Poet has outdone herself with a coaster, which is <laughs> something I never thought I'd say. <laughs> Ever. Uh, yeah, for someone that says that she's really bad at doing coasters, that's pretty good Woody, you know. It really is. Scallywag Beach. And here we are at the Fuzzy Clam and uh, fantastic uh, skin to the, uh, the old swan and this beautiful lighthouse. I love that lighthouse, that's so good. That's Idro's one, isn't it? Right Is it Idro's one? Now I've got to find out, haven't I? Yeah. Very nice, very nice. And behind us, something I'm very excited for, having seen some of this on stream, the go-karts. Oh, yes. And you know it's going to be good just based on that sign. Just all of this. Again, <laughs> yeah, the ride sign, but the level of detail down here. I'm so digging that ruin piece as well. Like I've mm -hmm. only just I've only just found it based on stuff, yeah. some of the stuff that Wix has done, and I'm so yes. here for the ruin pieces. Yeah, they are some of the best pieces, I will say. They, they really are. They're like they're the things that should have been included in the adventure pack. Yeah, absolutely. I love the fact that she's covered up the um, uh, the lights as well. Oh yeah, and so simple. Just using the one piece, but it looks so uh, so textured. So effective. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So here we go, you're about to see my fantastic driving skills. You better be good at this, Moons. I'm going to be disappointed <laughs> if you don't win. I will try my absolute best. you're already best. losing! What are you uh, doing? I know, look, look, there we go. Overtook on the turn. Did Ooh. you just cheat? Did you just put in some kind of cheat code <laughs> to make it go faster? I just need to not spin out now. Oh, as I say it. As I like say that. It. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. I'm going to get over You're still in the lead. How somehow, did you manage that? Somehow. This track is beautiful. It's so good. So immersive. And you get a nice interaction with the coaster there as we come around that final turn. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh did no. you just spin out on the final stretch? It's fine, it's fine. I think I've what crossed the line. What even are you? I crossed the line, it's fine. I'm still first. <laughs> you have. This is more frustrating than watching Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, jeez. And you don't even notice when you're actually on ride the different levels here. Like, that's beautiful and not easily done e either yeah especially as there's quite a difference between the two levels and they're yeah. really close together it's mm -hmm. hard to get that that terrain change to be effective in planet coaster i love this track this is this is one of the best go-kart tracks i think i've ever seen yeah i have to agree without so a doubt immersive and she's done such a fantastic job in covering the terrain obviously there were bits where we were we were clipping into the terrain a bit but it's so hard to get that just right sometimes you just have to trade off like yes. believability with realism right yeah. like you'll take this if it looks like this and you can just believe that it works rather mm -hmm. than just the purists going oh no that wouldn't work because of blah, 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 blah. no one cares keep it to yourself <laughs> yes <laughs> exactly and again so many of these little details that you just otherwise wouldn't notice this little stream running down here it's just all so beautiful and it's that coaster in the background as well the woody it's just, yeah. It frames off the, the go-kart so nicely because it's just there yes. constantly in the background. Okay, so finally we cross the bridge, which brings us to our insanity up on this raised plaza. So, Mooms, now you've done all of the tours, or mm. most of the tours, how many of them are retained to the original bridge? Almost all of them, and I'm loving it. That's amazing. It. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that attention to detail that they've all... They've all the one thing they've all kept is that one bridge. It's such a, uh, I was saying to Relly, such an insignificant piece of the park in my eyes, um, but it's one of the main things that got retained. Which is, uh, exactly, yeah. It's, uh, I love yeah. it. I love it when we, when people do stuff like that. It's almost wholesome <laughs> that everyone kept the bridge. Yeah. Well, that's because for you, it was such a throwaway piece, right? Yeah. It was such a throwaway thing that, as you said, seems so insignificant, mm -hmm. but everybody that's taken the park has seen that as the key part of the park and has used it in some way yeah. and it's nice because you didn't you didn't direct that the mm -hmm. whole community have taken it upon themselves to collectively choose without consulting each other that yes. that's that was the part of the park that needs saving yeah and don't get me wrong like i put a lot of effort into this bridge like every inch of it is clad um there's pretty much no default path left there so um, i'm glad that it's still here to be honest so finally we'll have a little look around at night and I'm not surprised at all. It's all lit beautifully. And it's all yellow because it's pirate. All yellow. 
uh, yeah, lovely use of the lanterns. Oh, and of course, the go karts looking beautiful at night as well. It's just a go kart park, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> this should just be a thing on its own. Can you imagine if Poet just did like a go kart the size of an entire map? <laughs> Beam to that. That's level. a challenge. <laughs> yes. There you go. Should we set that for one of our streams? Yes, absolutely. So I think especially considering Poet has said how she did run out of time towards the end, the level of detail here is absolutely incredible. And whilst, yes, I would love to see uh, certain bits extended and um, expanded upon, I think as a whole, this is such a beautiful and immersive pirate park. This is a pirate park. Mm -hmm. Whenever you see a pirate building a park, this is exactly what you imagine it's always going to turn out to be. The fine, intricate details, the level of detail that's gone into the go-karts, the mm -hmm. subtle Easter eggs everywhere that you're looking at. It's exactly, it's everything that Poet builds, and I love it. I'm so here for it. Yeah, completely agree. Before we sign off, I just want to say a huge thank you to Nerd Chacho. This is his last spotlight uh, during the contest, so I just want to say an extra big thank you for joining me. It's, it's been an honour to have such a huge name on the channel. Thank you for having me. These have been so good. Like I've enjoyed every single one of these that we've, that we've walked through. It's just amazing to see all of the different variations of the same park kicking out. So guys, well done. Thank you so much for having me along. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Nerd Chacho for joining me today. Make sure you keep tabs on your favourites ready for the public vote after all submissions have been showcased. Don't forget to like this video, not only to support me, but to show some love to today's creator. Catch you in the next one.